What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a juiced up day. So today I wanted to make another recipe video. I wanted to hop on the trend, uh, the nature cereal trend, and show you what I'm doing with my cereals nowadays. Um, I made a video about like two years ago uh, with the nature cereal. I had some like mangoes, bananas, some berries. I think I did like strawberries and raspberries or maybe blueberries or something, but I just wanted to make another one and show you what I'm doing now. Um, you're gonna need plant-based milk for this. So click here if you uh, don't know how to make plant-based milk and I have a video there that will show you um, how to do that because you're gonna need that for this. Um, straight vegan, plant-based, you know how we do it on this channel. So um, yeah, just wanted to show you what I'm doing now for my cereal and it's about time to eat. It's like, what is it, 103, so I'm breaking the fast. So wanted to hop in and bring you along with me. So let's do it. If you're not, if you're new to the channel, um, like and subscribe so you can see more videos like this, and we can share that health and wellness method message, blah blah blah, with the with the rest of YouTube. All right. So let's get into it. <laughs> So here's the ingredients. So we got blueberries and raspberries. Uh, berries are loaded in antioxidants. They help fight off viruses and disease in the body. So they help our organs stay strong and free of any bad bacteria um, so they can function and operate at a high level. Um, and they're great at removing heavy metals. Um, next, we have bananas. I was just showing you the spottiness of the bananas so most people think that the spottiness means that they're like bad and they're you know gonna taste terrible but actually the spottiness means that the sh uh, the carbs have been converted to sugar so they're like pre-digested and ready for the body to use all the nutrients in them so it's actually really important to make sure your fruit is ripe when you eat it and this is a way to tell if your bananas are ripe so you want to wait um, until you have those spots before you eat your bananas um, another cool fun fact about um, bananas is that they're 76% water. So, you know, most people don't think that there's, you know, much liquid in bananas, but they're actually 76% liquid. So um, not a popular fact about bananas there, but uh, it's, it's true. <laughs> so uh, they also promote digestion. Uh, they soothe the intestinal tract, uh, which allows for more nutrient absorption. So if you're having problem digesting your food, then bananas are a great um, food to add in to help with that. Um, next, we have dried mulberries. Um, this is another uh, part of the berry family. Um, I'll talk about these in a second, um, but they're gonna add a little bit of crunch to the cereal and give it a little bit of texture. And then lastly, we have the uh, almond milk, which I'll pop on the screen here in a second, but wanna get a start on that because there's so many healthy benefits to the milk. You, you have high quality protein. It's great for building muscle. Uh, it's incre it, in it helps increase HDL, which is the good cholesterol, and it helps decrease LDL, which is the bad cholesterol. So it, all of that, what that means is it prevents heart attacks. So, you know, you'll have a lot more f a room inside of the arteries for the blood to flow. So nice addition to top it off. All right, welcome back. So we have our finished product. Um, so as you can see, I probably wasn't gonna be able to fit that extra banana in there. And I definitely wasn't gonna get you a nice little toss and turn here so you can see what, what we got. So I had to upgrade to this, this larger white bowl. So this is the finished product. So we've got some raspberries in there. We've got some blueberries. Um, we got the banana. Uh, the plant-based almond milk, and then we also have those uh, brown, in the brown ingredient right there. So if you don't know what that is, um, that brown ingredient is dried mulberries. So same family as the blackberries and raspberries, blueberries, strawberries. Um, it's just another berry that grows uh, on a big old tree and um, they dry it. So the liquid is out of it. So it has that nice crunchy taste and texture. Um, so that way it can make it like, you know, a regular cereal that we're all used to eating. Um, so yeah, I can link the description up. <laughs> I could put the link in the description below for that. They, uh, 
they have a bag, a five pound bag on Amazon. It's like as big as my torso, it's huge. But um, it'll last you like four to six months if you use it, you know, once, twice, three times a week. So it's only like $25, uh, you could get that. Um, and yeah, then as long as you already know how to make plant-based milk or you can use the, the video I mentioned earlier to learn how to do that, then you'll be good to go and you can make nature cereal. You can also use the coconut water. I know they're using that in a lot of the videos that are floating around social media. That makes it a little bit lighter. Um, I'm using the, the plant-based milk so it has you know protein, some fats in there. Coconut water doesn't have any fat, so if you want to go lighter, you can use the coconut water. If you want to put a little bit, get a little bit more bulky, you can use the, the milk. So. Um, let's take a taste test here. Make sure I get everything on there. Mm. It's a spot every time. <laughs> All right. So I'll leave you with that. Tag me in any uh, recipes that you make. I'd love to see it. I'm at, um, I'll link all this below, but I'm at Julian the Juice Man on Instagram. And on Facebook, I'm Julian the Juice Man as well. Um, make sure to like and subscribe, drop a comment so we can chit chat down there. Um, if you like this video, so we can spread the, spread the recipe knowledge. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Peace. time, right?